I was taking a few photos of my 4 inch freestyle quad and I said, you know what, it's time to have some fun. I want to fly it. So I tend to keep the red, um, you know, like locked up because I only have a few of those, but I got a lot of black props. So I was about to switch out the red ones for the black props. And the black props, because they were so cheap when I first got this quad, I just bought a bunch of them. Uh, so there's a lot of these black props I keep with me. But as I was looking for them, I came across these green ones and I said, hey, should make a good shot mix up the colors green and red so i decided to do this video at the same time to show you how i change a t-mount props so pretty much uh, when i first got my cord i didn't realize that the props came like this with this big hole in the middle i'm like wait how is this going to hold on to this little prop that didn't make any sense so let me show you how it looks uh, with the red one so with the green, it has the hole, but with the red one, there's this little thing in the middle. And I didn't know what there was at first. And I said, wait, what if I put that in there? So it's this little clear plastic that you have. And that clear plastic actually has to go within the middle of the prop itself. And it creates these three holes, pretty much. Two holes for the screws, one hole for the actual motor. So if you look at this little plastic thing, it has a top and a bottom. The top is kind of slightly rounded and the bottom is just flat and straight and that's how you know what's up and what's down. So what I would do is take that and find the bottom of the prop and push it through from the bottom all the way up until it becomes flush with the entire prop. And that now takes that big hole and turns it into three holes. So two holes for the screw and one hole for the shaft of the motor. So when you think about it, the shaft with the two screws kind of makes it like a T-mount. So that's why it's called a T-mount uh, type of prop. So what you do, you take the prop and you push the shaft within the middle hole. That is made for that because it's a little bit smaller. Sometimes it's a bit tight, sometimes it slides on nicely, sometimes it's a little bit loose. But then you have to turn it to look through those two other holes, the second and the third hole, and look for the hole where you're going to screw your screw into the motor. That's what I'm doing now. Just trying to line that up. Then I would just put my screw on my screwdriver and push it in the prop. Sometimes it goes all the way through. Sometimes you have to screw it all the way in. But as you're screwing it, it's going to feel like it's going where it's supposed to be. But you have to check because what happens, you could be screwing and it won't be flush with the motor. The prop itself will not be flush with the motor. So when you check, I got a space. So you got to make the adjustment, turn it until you get it into the hole. Once it's there, continue screw it in. Make sure it's locked down tight. Don't over tighten it. You know, just tighten it enough that, hey, it's going to hold on. So you don't want to overdo it and ruin your screws in your motor because then now you're going to ruin your motor or you're going to push the screws too far within your motor and you're going to touch the windings that's going to cause your motors to heat up. So just enough. And that's another thing when you're switching out your screws, make sure your screws are not too long. I want to be too short and you don't want to be too long. You want to find one that's just right. So once you get both of them in, pretty much you're done. That's how you change the prop of a team motor. So I do it again on the other one. I put it in the middle piece, but on this one, I ran into a problem. It didn't go all the way in. And this is something you have to look at. If it doesn't go all the way in, like it's not flush with the prop, do not force it. If you press it, it's just not going in. Pop that out. Turn it a little bit to the next side because there's two ways it could slide in. And usually the second time it goes all the way in. But if it doesn't, use another one. That's why they sent about two extras within the bag. And once you find which one works, it's going to just slide all the way in. It's going to be flush with the prop. And you're good with that. Again, don't force it if it doesn't go all the way in the first time. It doesn't take a lot of pressure to actually slide that in. So once you have that, you're going to remove... The old prop or the one you want to switch out if your prop is bent or broken or whatever the situation may be unscrew it take out the screws and i tend to use this magnetic uh, holder like a screw holder because i've lost screws before just leaving it there on the workbench sometimes you spin your your quad and it hits the screw and it's lost so i found that this came in very handy the little red thing on the side so here I'm just lining up the holes again, making sure it's lined up with the motor. And I grab it from there, that magnetic base, because it's going to hold my screws together and I get firing everything. And I just push it through the holes and start screwing it in. Again, just like I mentioned before, as you screw in, just take your time. It's going to feel as if it's going in, but just check it. Make sure it's actually flush. If it's not, 
adjust it, get it in the hole and screw it in. So let me make sure that it's actually held down to the motor. The prop should be touching the motor and the screws are holding it down. So I'm here, I'm just adjusting it, making sure it's all lined up. Once it's lined up, then I can screw the screw all the way in. I won't recommend that you fly with just one screw. I think you probably can, wouldn't really cause a problem, but I wouldn't trust it, okay? So once you've done that, you got your props swapped out, your screws are all in, it's all nice and tight, you're ready to fly, and you're all looking good. And that's the simple way to change the props on a T-mount. All right, thanks for watching.